family. Casey and I are humbled to have you here. We are grateful for the support you've given us. One, God putting that call on your heart to suspend everything that you had to do, your busy schedule, to travel all this far to come and be with us, share the joy with us, and walk us through, support us, be with us, encourage us, speak life to us. Uh, I don't know if we have any words that are, would best describe how joyful and humbled we feel for everything you've done for us. This evening, we understand what it means. Last night, that uh, us ling uh, living single lives, that means uh, to you who are married, tomorrow at this time, we'll be in the same company. <laughs> Casey, I choose today to be your husband. I vow to be your supporter, protector, and best friend as we walk through this life together. Tony, I choose today to be your wife. I vow to support, protect, and love you. Knowing that love is a choice, I choose to love you every day. Today I love you for your sense of humor, intelligence, your generous heart, and your ability to make any situation an adventure. So I was working at SeaWorld, I was working my dream job, training killer whales, and I came to Uganda for the first time with Villages of Hope Africa, and my heart just broke for the Acholi people and for this place, and I knew God was doing something in that. Uh, the first time I met Casey was in 2011, that was in uh, December, the 28th to be in specific, when she came on a mission team with Villages of Hope Africa. And she came back, I think within a year or so, saying that she felt that God was calling her to Africa and she was gonna walk away from her dream. <laughs> to which, um, as a dad, I suggested maybe we slow up a little bit. <laughs> I can be quick to like jump into something, get excited about something, jump into it. And so I said, God, if you ever want me to go full time, if you ever want me to move to Africa, if you, like make it very, very clear. Two years ago, about two years ago, it was very clear that it was time. It was a difficult transition, but I will say, as we've all become more knowledgeable, as we've gotten to know Tony, as we've gotten to be familiar with Uganda, we just feel really comfortable with what God is doing in her life and Tony's life and here in Uganda. The friendship kept on growing. While she's here, physically, we are together, serving together, spending time together. We went from friends to like, I mean, just the closest friends ever. There was nothing we couldn't talk about, except for like the elephant in the room, which was, I'm pretty sure we both like each other. Tony, the love of my life, my dynamic duo, the other P in my pod, the bow to my arrow, my best friend. Today is the day, today is the day I get to marry you. And from this day on, be your wife. I vow to honor you and serve you in my actions and words, reflecting Christ's love for his church. Today, I love you for your compassion and the way that you encourage and support me. I vow to walk alongside you as you grow and change, and I vow to love the person you will become. I vow to speak kind and gentle words, both when I'm proud of you and when I feel disappointed. I love you now, and I vow to love the person you'll become as you change and grow in the coming years. 
God has given us this marriage as a gift, and I vow to cherish it. As such. Moving forward, I feel like we're both just really excited about like getting to do life together, like here or there being together versus, you know, I'm constantly bouncing back and forth and I kind of live in these two worlds and now we're gonna let those worlds collide and like do it all together. Like it's truly home now, which it's felt like for so long, but it's like whether we're in the United States or we're here, we are home to each other. Tony, uh, now you make his the bright.